snake na may triangle sa ilalim. This is the triangle spotted snake. Well, I think you can figure out why they call it that because it has those triangle shapes underneath. So cool, right? Now we're gonna show you a close up in a bit, but these snakes are small endemic snakes, meaning you can only find them in the Philippines. This species in particular can only be found in Luzon, but their genus Cyclochorus, sounds like cyclops, right? Can only be found in the Philippines. So all of our triangle spotted snakes are endemic. Now this one is the Luzon triangle spotted snake in particular. Now these guys are nocturnal, which is why we find them at night. And they're usually found on the ground or underneath the ground, okay? So usually nasa lupa sila. Their diet typically consists of other reptiles as well, such as lizards and even snakes. Yes, kumakain din sila ng kapwa ahas. The smaller ones, of course, that you will also find um, on the ground. And other small animals. So they really play an important role in balancing the ecosystem, especially when it comes to those smaller animals that would have been mga snacks lang para sa mga bigger creatures. Sila talaga ang nakikinabang dito. Now, if you look at the head, I would say it's one of the cutest because look at that head. The chubby head that almost makes it look like a venomous snake. But these are non-venomous by the way. Wala silang kamandag. And the eyes are small. It's really so cute talaga yung itsura niya. Grabe. Super cute. And as you can see, it's not aggressive. It's actually docile. It's not going to bite me unless I make it bite me, which is, you know, very common in most snakes that they won't really attack you unless you make them feel threatened. Now, this is also really great at camouflaging. And if you can see the top of its body, yung taas niya is a color brown that's similar to the color of yung mga twigs, yung mga kahoy kahoy, mga stick na kahoy na nakikita nyo sa, sa ground, sa forest floor. And that is proof of how it is so good at camouflaging. Honestly, if you were to see this, this is not the first time we've seen this. We've actually done a video on this before. And kung makita nyo siya sa ground, nang basta-basta lang, hindi nyo siya agad-agad mapapansin kasi kasing kulay niya yung mga twigs. Teka, maghahanap ako. Nangyari o, oh, kung tinapat mo siya dyan, oh, of course ngayon may ilaw tayo, kaya mukha siyang halatang-halata. Pero hindi mo siya mapapansin talaga o. Oh, kasi sobrang galing niya talaga mag-camouflage. And you know how camouflage works, the evolution of how these snakes have adapted to their environment is always going to be interesting to me. Siyempre, hindi ko naman sinasabi na balik ta rin niyo pa yung ahas para malaman kung ano siya. From above, you can already identify them thanks to the dark brown color and an even darker brown line that goes all throughout its body up to the head. And it has a sort of U-shaped marking on its neck. But the biggest mystery of all, I would say, is why they have triangle spots on their belly. Pwede naman circle, pwede naman square. Bakit kaya triangle? There's not a lot of studies as to exactly why they have these triangle spots underneath. But one possibility is, it could be a warning pattern to confuse predators. Again, they are non-venomous, wala silang kamandag, so there's no reason to fear them. They are one of the smaller snake species, so you might not even notice them when you're walking around in the forest. But despite how small they are, they are equally important as other big species when it comes to their role in the environment. So let's protect the triangle-spotted snake because every piece of wildlife matters.